Tonight in our series honoring Jazz Fest legends, guitarist, singer, and songwriter Earl King. King helped make the Jazz Fest what it is today. WGNO's LBJ shows you why he is a giant of the fest. <laughs> On the Mount Rushmore of New Orleans music greats, Earl King stands tall. Born Earl Silas Johnson, King made his mark as a singer, guitarist, and prolific songwriter. Oh, I, I would say hundreds myself. There had to be over 300 songs. Among them would be classics like Trick Bag, Professor Longhair's Big Chief, and Come On, recorded by the likes of Jimi Hendrix. You know the thing that was cool with Earl was that uh, he was one of the first to really go out and secure all of his his uh, rights songwriting wise with BMI and all that wow. in a day when a lot of people didn't do that. Hammond Scott and his brother Norman ran Blacktop Records who spoke about how King's music styles changed over the decades but by the 1980s hooked up with Blacktop for a career recharge. So come on baby let the good time a -ro 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 -ro. We started with him and that really changed his life more than anything because he got out on the road more than he'd ever gotten out on the road and he got, you know, Grammy nominated and all that. And uh, so it's very fruitful for all of us. King's performances at Jazz Fest was a must witness event, often tearing it up as a headliner. King died in 2003, but his legacy was that of a consummate New Orleans musician. He was a composer. He can arrange, he, he did it all. And also he can get on stage with the guitar and perform. So he was like classic. For Giants of the Fest, I'm LBJ, WGNO News.